Hello, bodies of flesh and consciousness that will one day only be bodies of flesh. My name is Edgy Chappie, and today it's time to bring out your dead, because I'm going to be going over every spell in the necromancy school of magic and rating them on Edgy's Edgy Meter. Keep in mind, as always, that given that I am a prolific YouTuber of incredible renown, and I carry a big sword and wear a black trench coat, I'm clearly the type of person person who knows everything about everything, so don't worry if I'm blatantly wrong about something or I give a bad opinion, because being popular is all about saying stupid things and having people believe you anyway. But with that out of the way, <laughs> let's begin. <coughs> I think this might be a medical condition. So, necromancy is the school of voodoo and spooky scary skeletons. It's the taboo style of magic that is equally likely to bring the ire of your party members, as well as a free ticket to the guillotine if the Knights of the Realm find out. Of course, that's not going to stop you neck fetishists from pulling your bones out from deep below and charging them at people. So let's get right into the spells, starting with cantrips! Chill Touch. Very good if you're fighting people with healers, the healers themselves, or the people who never managed to find a healer. Spare the Dying. This spell is made useless by its short range and abundance of healing kits, or literally any healing ability. Toll the Dead. This spell does a whole lot of damage, but remember that you have to ignore a lot of the advantage-disadvantage mechanics because it's a save or suck spell. First level! Cause Fear. Very useful when you want to disable the big bad evil guy for a little while so that you can deal with his minion. False Life. There is nothing stopping you from casting this on multiple people at once, so it's an okay buffer to put on your friends just before you start a fight. Inflict Wounds. That's a lot of first level damage. My only gripe is that it's a touch spell, so keep one of those on you if the bad guy gets too grabby. Ray of Sickness. Decent damage, but unfortunately it takes two separate rolls if you want them to get down with the sickness. Second level! Blindness slash deafness. Have you ever wanted to cripple a caster? Here you go. Gentle repost. It seems like it might be useful, but I have never once had a reason to use this anti-necromancy necromancy spell. Seriously? Only use this as a ritual. Ray of Enfeeblement. Sure, it's now dealing half damage, but you know what's better? All the other spells that can help preventing it hitting at all. Third level! Animate Dead. This is the quintessential corpse party spell. Just be prepared to commit a lot of spell slots to this. Also, realize how long it takes to individually summon all these things, so be prepared to get prepared. Bestow Curse. Super versatile and can be useful to disable any kind of dickbag. Thane Death. Once again, I've never needed this spell, and the only reason to have it on your spell list is as a ritual. Life Transference. A third level spell that heals for essentially 88 health? Sure, the damage taken hurts, but who wants to live forever? Revivify. Please, take this. You never know when you're gonna need it until it's the only thing that can save you. Also, ignore the moral quagmire of it being a necromancy spell. Speak with Dead. The only time I ever wanted to use this spell was to make a Hamilton reference. Should we honor a treaty, King Louis' head? Vampire touch. The problem with this spell is that it's a melee attack that really banks on concentration to get its money worth. Sure, you could manage it, or you could get dropped by the guy that you're leeching off of. Fourth level! Blight. Decent damage, but the plant thing is pretty damn rare, although when it does come up, it's almost guaranteed 64 damage. Shadow of Moil. I just don't put much stock in spells that require concentration, yet put you in situations where you're likely to get hit. Fifth level! Contagion. As long as you know their weakest stat, this spell can cripple anybody. Plus, it is guaranteed for at least three turns, plus the best effect is Slimy Doom, since giving people disadvantage on con saves with the spell that forces con saves is just mean. Dance Macabre. While it isn't as good as Animate Dead with prep time, this spell lets you spontaneously spawn up to five buffed creatures to save your ass in a pinch. Plus, its name sounds like Dance Macabre, so you could use it to summon backup dancers at parties. Enervation. You remember that crappy vampiric touch spell? Yeah, this is that spell's older brother, and it wants to know who's been talking shit. Negative Energy Flood. This spell is just mean. Minions didn't ask for this life. Nobody asked asks for this. Raise dead. I don't know who you're trying to revive that hasn't been dead for 10 days, but they can wait the extra day for you to prepare the spell as a clear. Sixth level! Circle of death. 500 gold for a spell that does the same amount of damage as a basic fireball? What? Create Undead. It'll start costing quite a lot to maintain this upkeep, but it is a fun summoner's trick. Eye Bite. I'm giving it a pass because you can keep recasting without burning spell slots, meaning you can knock out all your enemies one wisdom save at a time. Harm. That's some good unhealable damage right there. Use it on bosses to annoy your DM. Magic Jar. This spell is absolutely evil. No way around it. Even despite the obvious dangers of attempting it, I'm giving this a 3 because of the serious roleplay value that would have to go into it. Soul Cage. By the time that you can cast the spell, the 100 gold shouldn't be a problem, and all the benefits make this spell amazing, just make peace with how evil you have to be to use someone's soul as a battery. Seventh level! Finger of Death. And this is the spell that can give you your own personal zombie army. As long as you finger people nearing death that have disadvantage on con, you will never fail. Resurrection. And this is the spell that you use when you've got all the money in the world and death doesn't matter. Eighth level! Abidelzim's Horrid Wilting. It's a big ball of damage with a super long range. 
Neat. Clone. 3,000 gold for an extra life. Ninth level! Astral Projection. There are other, less expensive ways to get into the astral realm. I expected better from you, Mr. Ninth Level Spell. True Resurrection. When all else fails, this spell won't. But that'll about do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment if you did. Subscribe if you want to be a cool dude. And maybe support me on Patreon so that I can slowly make my entire life revolve around D&D. Also, if you want to stay up to date on all of your Davy news, I keep a link to my Discord and Twitter in the description below. But yeah, Davy out.